Welcome here to more Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel here today, guys, as we are going to discuss the very big news and very important news surrounding Frank de Jong and his impending exit from Barca. Because indeed, over the past few hours and the past few days, we've all admitted this deal is getting closer. And now, according to reports, both Barca and Man United, they are closing in on that final fee. And that is what we're going to discuss. Because it is being rumoured right now that the fee to take Frank de Jong to Manchester United will be 65 million euros guaranteed fixed fee plus 20 million in variables. So that right there would be a complete package of 85 million euros, but that is less than what Barca wanted. At the start of the summer there, when these negotiations initially began, we wanted a 100 million euro package deal. We wanted 85 million euro fixed. We wanted 15 in add-ons to make 100. And are we about to settle for 65 plus 20. Because honestly, guys, if that is going to be the case, I've got to be completely honest and say I don't really like that. I'm not really happy at all with that fee. And I think many, many of you guys feel the same way. There's no two ways about that. In the current market, with the way the things are going with transfer fees and big names and big players, Frankie de Jong, he is worth more than that. Of course, it could eventually reach 85 million. That's all good and well. But I think 65 as that fixed fee... That is low. There is no two ways about that. But what I would just say, and the kind of feeling that I've had over these past few days is, are we accepting a lesser deal? Are we actually lowering our demands at the last minute because we want to get this deal done? And because we want to get it done before the end of the month. That appears to be what is happening right now, because don't forget, the end of this month is the end of Barca's financial year, and it means that if they do sell De Jong before that time, they can count all of that income to make us even more in profit for the season, and we could also add the removal of Frankie De Jong's salary, which would then count directly towards the La Liga salary cap that they're going to announce for us very, very soon. So that is why it seems to me like Barca are in a hurry, and in the end have accepted maybe less than they originally wanted. That's not an excuse, by the way, but that is just the situation right now. But what I would say is, if it's not done before the end of the month, because obviously we've only got a few more days in this month, if it's not done by then, well then why accept the lower offer? If it is going to go beyond the end of the month, and if it isn't wrapped up by then, well we should hold out for more. There is no two ways about that, guys. There then should be no rush on our side, and if we're not going to get it in that period anyway, there is no way that we should be accepting 65 million up front as a guaranteed fixed fee. In an ideal world, we would always, always, always want more than that, but we're going to have to wait and see what happens. In these final days here of June, really important, really pivotal days, Let's see what the two clubs can agree and how this deal does indeed move forward. Please do let me know, though, your thoughts down below on that 65 plus 20 deal. Would you like to see it be a lot more? I think many of you, like I say, feel that way. But let me know your thoughts down below and also, of course, whether you think this will be done by the end of the month. I will, of course, see you soon with all of the latest news and when everything is going to be confirmed, there is lots happening and there will be lots to come. Thanks for watching. I will see you soon. But until next time, as always, Vishka, help us.